Mold. Don't you just love it? Even the word mold. It's awesome. Just kidding. <laughs> Problem with mold is it can grow just about anywhere. It can grow in your kitchen, your bathroom, even in your attic. But there are places it could be growing that you would never think of, and it could be making you sick. So we invited home improvement expert Eric Stromer back. He's going to reveal three unexpected places mold can be growing that we probably never even look for it in. Yeah, and here's the deal. Mold requires moisture. Mold does not grow in a dry climate. So oftentimes people overlook things like the refrigerator, creepy refrigerator gasket right in this area here. Kids touch with, with wet hands, with milk on the hands, and a couple of months later, guess what? You get this black mold growing, and this is nightmare and disgusting. The good news is detergent and water or vinegar and water or a little bit of Clorox bleach and water with an abrasive sponge will clean this up really nicely. There's about 270 different types of mold out there. Obviously, people with suppressed immune systems are going to be more susceptible to asthma-like symptoms, things like that. So oftentimes, it's not going to affect you. And, and certain people, even just cleaning up the mold, they should, they should really be careful because right. you know, you're getting those spores up in the air. And Very good so point. So you've got to be really careful, do you not? Yes. No, you're right. You're going to want to absolutely have a paper mask. The main reason, obviously, is to not let the stuff dislodge and be a dry, airborne element. So you right. definitely want to be careful. Now, if you have, for, let me talk to you about something that I think is really kind of specific to this. If you're in a bathroom scenario, can and I sit on the toilet? Please, while actually, you we, probably, we want you to take a I mean, did tell us, the by the way, when yeah. mold gets in your toilet, it's a really Ooh. Be careful. My throne. So, so basically, the the toilet. Okay, is a great place where moisture can so, sort of show up. For example, in a toilet, if you have this kind of rocking scenario, there's a thing under the toilet, it's called the flange, okay? And the flange is what goes down into the pipe that takes the waste out of your house. The flange usually has a thing called a wax ring, which is this item here. The wax ring goes up underneath the toilet. This provides the seal and the waterproof aspect to the toilet. So if your toilet's rocking, like chances that. are that this has been broken, the seal breaks, you'll get sewage smell, you'll also get moisture. Moisture then comes out onto the tile floor, or the linoleum floor, mold can grow from that scenario, okay? Now behind the toilet where the water line feeds into the toilet itself, drywall happens to be the most amazing growth medium for mold. That is the thing that when it gets wet, if it's left unattended, it literally is like the most fertile soil for mold. So if you see any moisture on your drywall by either touching the wall or you see slight staining, you see stuff in the roof dripping down, anything like that, you want to immediately cut that patch out, find the source of the water leak. So water leaks can come from where? Your gutters outside, the crawl space in the attic, if the roofing membrane or the roofing system is failing, if you walk up into your attic with a flashlight, look up into the roof area where the plywood is. If you see any yeah. discoloration or staining, there's a leak, and that's when you can yeah, probably I, get I that mold growth. I just had to deal with this, and my toilet was leaking out. It, you know, it was, it was shooting up underneath here and ricocheting out and going down oh. into the ceiling below. Right. And so they had to come in and cut it out. That's exactly and, right. And redo it and fix the leak. Yeah, and if and that goes unattended over yeah. time and it doesn't dry out, then you get that growth and that becomes a, a situation where you could potentially have immune system difficulties. Mm. That would be wheezing, watering eyes. Uh, allergies. Symptoms like allergies, exactly. Yeah. Well, and, and, and any time you have a water source like that being created, Best thing to do, just shut the valve off to that toilet, use another toilet, and get that thing fixed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, last but not least, yeah. looks so like another, we have some bricks over here. Another classic place where water can penetrate into your home is through the chimney, okay? So what happens is that if there's not one of these, which are called spark arresters, this prevents the embers during a fire to come out through the fireplace, potentially catch things on fire around the house, but it also acts as a cover for the, for the mm -hmm. chimney so moisture doesn't come out and continually bombard that fireplace with, with water. So definitely take a look and see if this is on your roof and uh, your chimney, and also this is great to keep animals and yes. rodents and pests from getting and down Santa. to the house. Santa, I mean. Santa knows <laughs> how to take this off. Yeah, so Santa's we're all smart. Hey, Eric, thanks so much. Thank you so really much. Really appreciate it. We'll be right back.